Removing the rear cover requires a bit of technique, hence the purpose of this video. The complicating factor can be seen by removing the circular plate on the side of the transmission. The screwdriver is pointing to the interior support bearing for the PTO shaft. When removing the rear cover, which includes the PTO shaft, the bearing tends to come out of its seat, contacts the gear located above it, and stops the cover from being removed. To counter this, put the wheel speed selector into first gear, and then remove the bolts that secure the cover. Next, use a soft driver to separate the cover and transmission. We find it helpful to bolt the quick hitch bushing to the PTO studs so that we can use the flange of the bushing as a good contact surface for our 2x4 block. Once a gap of about a half inch has been achieved between the cover and the housing, use a screwdriver to separate the two gears that are shown and to press the front one forward. Finally, insert two small pry bars between the cover and housing. Gently pry with even pressure, taking care not to damage either of the two aluminum surfaces. As you can see, both the input and PTO shafts are attached to the cover, so pull the cover straight out until the shafts are clear of the housing. In conclusion, please know that we welcome your feedback and questions. To contact us about the content of this short video, please call 888-224 4271 or email info at bcsamerica.com. Thank you.